hello everything Pisces welcome 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 babies if you're new here welcome back if you are returning come on in like subscribe comment share thank you guys in advance you already know what it is my loves kick your feet up get your shit get your shit get your shit and get comfortable because we about to make it do what it do loves okay this is for my pisces all placements this was a requested read so this will be a Pisces new love read. We'll be doing for new love. We'll just say from somebody you just met to up to a year. You could have been talking to this person or dealing with this person for up to a year. Okay. So new love. Pisces new love. What's going on for my Pisces that are dealing with new love? What do we need to know about new love? What's going on? When it comes to Pisces and their new loves. I only do need it to jump. Pisces, new love. Okay. <laughs> so I see you out here in this bachelorette energy. This could be a person. Pisces, um, either you could be a bachelorette or if you're a Pisces man, your your person that you're looking at, that you're dealing with was a bachelorette. Okay, I do feel like they were single. Okay, you both were single here. You could have recently met this person. Tell me more, Spirit. Yeah, this masculine energy. I feel like there's a masculine energy that was single, or there's a masculine energy who sees you single. They may want to take it to the next level. Like, you guys may be on frizz. I don't feel like there's nothing committed here. You could be dating, but I don't feel like it's anything um, that hasn't been completely set out that you guys are in a full commitment here um you may be about to go exclusive but for some of you guys you may not even be exclusive yet right so you're still in this bachelorette energy but you're dealing with this person here that is into you with this first impression rose this person has a lot of emotions and feelings for you here um they've liked you from the very first time they met you yeah, this is fresh meat. This is somebody brand new. <laughs> this is some fresh meat, babies, with the Ace of Mirrors, okay? So we got the Ace of Roses and the Ace of Mirrors. So I do feel like this person is coming in and they're going to be honest here, as well as um, offering you this new love. Tell me more. I don't feel like they were with anybody. Who is the fucking villain? See, here we go. Why it gotta be a villain? It was so good. We was doing so good. Fucking challenge winner. Okay, so there could have been someone they had to choose between you and because they go contestant. There may have been a choice between you and somebody else here, guys. Okay, um, this could be why maybe you guys are not in a complete committed relationship. You may have two choices. This may be another reason why you guys have not totally committed. Because I got final two here. So there is a choice. You may have a choice between this new person and a villain. A karmic energy, someone that hurt your feelings that may be trying to come back. And then you got a new person here. For others of you guys, your person here could have had a choice between possibly a past person, somebody that hurt them, and you. Because you're coming out as the contestant here, the bachelorette, the contestant, the challenge winner. So you won the challenge out of the final two. So this person is choosing you and they're choosing to give you the roles. Yeah, they see you as the caregiver. They see you as the, the queen of flutes here. They see you as... Someone who is loving, caring, that they want to pour their heart into here. Tell me more, spirit. Pisces, new love. Yeah, they see you as someone that's very intellectual as well. Tell me more about this new love. Yeah, see, there was a choice in lovers. 
okay? There was a choice in lovers here. Because the lovers is always about a choice. A choice between two. But once again, I feel like you won. Challenge winner. So you you won. They're choosing you. If, if they haven't told you or you didn't know there was, you know, somebody else or they were stuck between you and someone else, they chose you out of the two. Okay? They have cut off whoever the villain was, the third party, the other person. They're not dealing with anybody. They are single or, you know, are just dealing with you. Yeah, see, they rejected the third party. You may be in your head when it comes to this person, to this connection here. Some of you guys, you may have even, when you first met this person, you might have thought they was a villain, that they was a karmic. And they could have just been afraid of being rejected. Okay, some of you guys need to pay attention. There could be some red flags. This is not for everybody, but pay attention to the red flags, your red flags, their red flags. Okay. I see new love. They may want to invite you to their house or come over to their house or come over to your house with this mansion here. I got this late bloomer. So maybe in the past, when this person had a choice between you and someone else, they were being the villain, right? Now, with this late bloomer falling on top of the caregiver, they are they're realizing here that with you is where they want to be. Maybe they chose somebody else in the past. And now maybe you're rejecting them. Here to make friends. For others of you guys with this new love, this new connection here, once again, this person had two to choose from. You were a choice. Or you got two to choose from. One of these people you're going to have to cut off. Possibly the one who came in last. You know, they were being a villain in the, in the past. The, the past person may want to come return. Now they see you're dealing with somebody new. And they're afraid, you know what I'm saying, they, that they are hurt. That they're going to be rejected here. So for some of you guys who started, what I'm getting, for some of you guys who started a new love, or have this new connection going on. You got a past person that's going to come back. They're going to try to come in, in. And you may end up rejecting them. That person could have been someone who put you in a choice. Between someone else. They chose somebody else and now they want to come back. But you've moved on. You've met somebody new here. There's a new connection here that you're dealing with. And this person you know, has feelings for you. They chose you as well. They see you as someone smart. They see, you know, someone who leads with their heart here. Yeah. And this may have you in your head. You may be stuck. Not knowing which one to choose. Whether you go back to this old person that's coming back, or do you keep moving forward with this new person here? I see you moving forward. This limo is forward movement. The cherry and you in the limo here. You're getting out the limo here. So I do see forward movement with the new person. Yeah, two of cups. I see you moving forward with the new person. And you're rejecting this past person here. The cocktail party. Yeah, they want to come in and celebrate with you. So whoever this new person is that you're dealing with, they do have feelings for you. They do want to be with you. They have liked you from the very first impression, from the very first time they met you, the very first impression they had. But you also got a past person coming back that that's that in the past made you cry. They hurt you. They hurt your feelings. They made you angry. And now, in the last moment and shit, this late bloomer. Now they want to come in and give you this love. But I feel like you're rejecting it because you're gonna go towards this this um, new love. My spirit is saying you need to reject this past person that's going to come back 
with this late bloomer energy and continue to move forward towards this new connection. Because there is a choice, the final two. Tell me about Pisces new love. Pisces new love. Will of fortune. Fate is happening. You got good luck here with this new connection. Okay, this is another cycle of your life here. Luck is in your favor with this new person. Tell me more about Pisces new love. Close out a cycle with this old person. Nine of cups, you got wish fulfillment with this new love. Dreams come true, satisfaction, abundance with the new love, guys, okay? I do feel like this person is going to be honest, protective. They may be a little quirky. Yeah, see, there was a tower moment. You're going to have to make a choice. Pisces, I don't know why. I feel like you're the one that got to make a choice. You got somebody from your past. That you possibly had been waiting on to get their shit together and they wouldn't. They had you crying and hurt, angry because you was giving your love to them and they were rejecting you. Now they want to come back in this late room, but only because, well, I can't say only because. I'm not going to say only because because it's not because of that. But they're coming back now that you're moving on. Okay? They just now realizing that they love you. But I, I feel like you may reject this person because in the past you reject. They were rejecting you when you were trying to give them this love. And now you cut them out and you made a choice and you choose this other person because the challenge winner and the lover, you choose you chose the, the new. You're choosing the new. And this old is upset, y'all, okay, with this tower moment. Upheaval, destruction, catastrophe. Tell me more about the new love here. Yeah. Yeah, see, the tower happened to the devil, the lower vibrational person, this villain here. Vice is temptation, manipulation. So you have this brand new beginning coming, wish fulfillment with this new person here. They'll be honest, they're going to protect you. You're walking away, you cause this tower moment for this past person, or you're going to cause this tower moment for this past person, but this past person was so caught up in temptations, manipulation, their vices that you had enough. You walked away. Or you need to walk away and head towards the new. Pisces, new love. Pisces, new love. I do need to show. Yeah, six of coins. This person was given to you and to other people. This third party, whoever this is. I do feel like this new person will come in and it will be balanced. It will be, They're going to be generous. They will share their wealth with you. But I feel like this third party, whoever this villain is, they thought you were going to share your money with them. And when you walked away, you didn't share your money with them. The manipulation didn't work. You dropped this tower on them. You left and you're walking to this new connection where, where it's going to be equal give and take. Yeah, you're taking a brand new leap of faith. You're the fool. Innocence, new beginnings, leap of faith with the new person. Yeah, ten of coins. Inheritance, financial security, family. This new person is coming in with financial security, family. They want to build. But I feel like this old person here is only coming back because they want you to share your wealth with them. It's still manipulation and, and temptation. They still got vices. They're still in this lower vibrational energy. This this past person is going to only come in and cause destruction, catastrophe, upheaval. If you allow this past person back in. And that could be why Spirit is saying reject this, this past person, this villain. They, and it, it, like I keep hearing too little, too late. They didn't want to do the work. And they still haven't done the work. They're just coming back because they think they can get something out of you here. Move forward to the new person. Or move forward with this new person. Nine of coins. Yeah, this new person is single, stable, thriving, self-reliant. Not not this past person, y'all, okay? Yeah, this, this past person is assertive. They're opinionated. They're impulsive. They're still going to put you... They got, they got these temptations, this manipulation. They're trying to manipulate you guys, okay? So just know that. 
this new love, this new person, this new connection is the way you're supposed to be going at this time. Okay, if anything changes, God will let you know. Your intuition will let you know shit ain't right. Time to get up out of there. Ace of Swords, Spirit said that's the truth. New ideas, breakthroughs, realizing the truth. You're realizing the truth. That this past person just wants to come in and use you. And this new person is coming in to share, to build, to give to you here. Let's see how this new person feels about you. Where the energy is when it comes to you. Just cards out the way real fast. Okay. How does this new person feel about the collective? How does this new person feel about the collective? Pisces. New love. How does this new person feel about the collective Pisces new love? We do need to jump. How does this new love feel about Pisces? Where's this new love's energy at when it comes to Pisces? So the new love wants you to open your heart. Love is the highest energy of all. Let it in. So they, they want you to open your heart and let their love in. They can be opening their heart and letting your love in as well. Tell me about this new love with Pisces. Yeah, they want to hook up. They want to take you on some type of rendezvous. A private getaway for two is calling you. So they want to take you on some type of little getaway. Just you and them. Tell me more about Pisces and this new love. Yeah, magnetism. There is a gravitational pull to each other. You guys can't stay away from each other. And, and they're hoping that you give them the benefit of the doubt. Give your relationship a chance. They're hoping that you give this a chance. That you give them the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, see, this third party <laughs> is still faced based on material shit. Whoever this person is that's coming back from the past... They're still focused on visible trappings. They're still focused on money. They want to know what what they can get out of you. Anything else about this this uh, other person here, the past person? This past person could be a karmic twin. Yeah, they're going to come in and try to um manipulate you with these affirmations loving words okay so you this 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 karmic is going to come back and try to, to manipulate you with loving words they're still focused on material things here this new person is your perfect match and they're falling in love with you spirit says remember your self-love have the honest communication and your dreams can come true Okay, so remember remember the worth that this past person taught you. Because they're going to come in, and it's a karmic twin, that is going to tell you whatever they think you want to hear. They're going to try to get back in because they don't want you to move on to this new. But this new person here, you guys can fall in love. There will be honest communication here. Your dreams can come true here. This new person can be your perfect match. But you got to put the effort in. Give this, this connection the benefit of the doubt. Okay, you guys do have a magnetic connection. And they want to take you somewhere, spend some time with you. They want you to open up your heart. Um, anything else? No, they said not this deck. Okay. Not this deck, but this deck. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Let's see how the new person is feeling about Pisces. 
where's the new person's energy at when it comes to Pisces? New love. Pisces new love. Someone they could recently have met. Going up into a year. Pisces new love. How's this new love feeling about Pisces? Okay, so they want to bring you around family and friends. They could have been talking to their friends and family about you as well. Tell me more about Pisces new love. Hmm. They said, let me love you and love you and love you some more. So they want to love on you, babies. And they want you to open your heart up and, and allow this love in. Tell me more about Pisces and this new love. Yeah, they want to come in, I told you, with truth and honesty. They want to come in with truth and honesty here. So they're being truthful. They're being honest. They're going to give you this honest communication. Tell me more about Pisces and their new love. So whatever they've been telling you, they've been honest. They haven't been lying to you. They've been real with you. Look, it says, I still can't believe that you're mine. This person can't believe that you're theirs. They want to put the effort in. They're hoping you put the effort in. Pisces, new love. Yeah, let's spend the day in bed today. They want to spend the day in bed with you whenever the next time they see you. Pisces, new love. It says, there's not enough words to explain how I feel about you. And our dreams are finally coming true. Anything else, Pisces, new love? It says, I love the way people look at us when we're together. Anything else, Pisces, new love? And I will give you my best. So they want you to know they're going to give you their best. Bottom of the deck says, I look at you when I see the rest of my life. They want to go shopping. New York, Fifth Avenue, wherever you live, if you got a Fifth Avenue, may be significant here. But let's go shopping, baby. They, they may want to travel to New York. Look. Look. Happiness is the wedding rings. Okay. They can see you as, as, as something long-term here. They want to know where you're spending the holidays. Your house, they house. Your family, they family. Whatever it is, they want to be with you for the holidays, though. It says, I want to marry my best friend, and you are my best friend. Okay, so this new love feels like they have a connection with you. They feel like you guys, um, if you're not best friends yet, you guys can have this best friend connection. This could be a soulmate. You may have known many lifetimes. But they are coming in with truth and honesty. And, and they feel like their dreams are finally coming true with you. Like I said, they still can't believe that you're theirs. Okay? And they want to give you their best. So when this ex-person come back, this past person that caused you all this hurt, this hurt, this pain. Spirit says reject them. Okay? Because they're only coming in because they want to see what they can get off, off of you, out of you. Your money, your time, your energy, your sex. When you got somebody up here that's being truthful and honest with you, they really do want to just love on you. Okay? So if it resonates with you guys, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, my fishy babies.